Okay, head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page, which will be linked in the description, and download the word by word fading presets. You will then have a DRFX file, double click on it to install. Resolve will open. I've got over right here because I've already got it installed. You'll have install. Once it's installed, if you come to the title section of your effects library and open it up, you will find a folder called WBWSC. Click on that and inside you'll find your three presets. By way of saving time, I've got a little demo set up here ready. I'm just going to create another timeline quickly. You can use these presets on their own. You can set them up, type in the words you want, make them as long as you want, and you can manually set your captions. I've deliberately set these up so that they're boring. Uh, I've used Open Sans fonts because it's universal and it saves lots of people saying, oh, I've got black screens when I use these fonts, or when I use these presets. You won't have black screens, you'll have boring presets. The whole point of making these was to use them with Orson Lord's snap caption system. To that end, you will take each of the plugins or presets in turn and you will customize them to the way you want them to be. Unfortunately, you've got limited sort of control over colors, but you can change it to any font, any size, any weight, and you can position the caption where you want it. Once you've done all that, so you might want, I don't know, Doses fonts, uh, you might be working on a vertical video, so you'd make it a bit smaller, you would bring it down, you might want to change the color a little, I don't know. You get the idea, you can change to whatever you want basically, and customize it how you see fit. Okay, so once you've got your caption set up how you like it, you need to copy it to a couple of places. So the first place you need to copy it to is your snap captions folder in your media pool. That's assuming your snap caption folder in your media pool is already open. If so, just click and drag and drop it in. It will then appear in your snap captions folder. What you also need to do is go to your snap captions in your power bin and drag it into there as well. Otherwise, all your hard work setting it up for this folder will be lost. The Snap Captions folder in the Power Bin is the one that stores your presets from project to project. The Snap Captions folder in your Media Pool is literally just for this project. So make sure you copy it to both places, and that way it will be available next time you want to use it. Once you have your caption in your snap captions bin you can now go and run snap caption and you can choose the preset that we've just put in and hit generate and you're good to go so now as you play through It will cache and then we'll play nicely and you're good to go. So that's basically it. At the minute, controls are quite limited. I might have a poke around and see if I can get more controls in here. Um, I'll see how time goes. I hope you find it helpful, useful. Please feel free to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.